raining a lot today actually love rainy days and I'm starting this vlog a little later this week it's actually Saturday today and I decided to do that because it was a super busy week with Black like Friday last week and um, actually this week <laughs> Saturday so it's still this week and actually I want to show you some different days than regular. I always like record on the same day. So uh, we are actually on our way. Actually, we just arrived <laughs> to a supermarket because uh, since it's Saturday, we want to cook a really nice dinner for ourselves. And actually, we've been like perfecting this recipe that we learned from TikTok. TikTok is like my new school right now. I learn a lot <laughs> from TikTok, and we uh, saw this recipe that it's basically kimchi carbonara and it's like the best thing ever so we've been trying to perfect that recipe and uh we are i i feel like we are like almost at 100 percent so maybe tonight's gonna be like our best work but we need to get some uh ingredients and it's actually uh kind of hard because we need to go to two different places one asian supermarket which we are going to go right now to buy like uh, the udon because we're going to use udon noodles and the kimchi and then we need to go to a regular supermarket to get like the other carbonara ingredients so yeah but it's worth it i'm gonna take you with me The lighting here is so bad in this kitchen. I'm literally with my flashlight from my phone turned <laughs> to me because other than like if I can you see it's like bad bad. So not that my makeup is great today because usually I don't even wear makeup on the weekends but I put something on <laughs> just a little. It was a success actually, the trip to the supermarket, to the two supermarkets, we got uh, everything that we needed. I'm gonna show you guys what we got and we're going to start dinner now. It's I think 8 p.m. so it's time to start preparing everything and it's a very very easy recipe so... Just give me names, <laughs> name ideas for this little segments of my vlogs. So I'm gonna start with the Asian ingredients we got from the Asian supermarket. And the first ingredient you need is actually this udon here. This is actually almost cooked already. You need to put it in hot water for just a few minutes. Then we got kimchi. Actually this uh, brand we never tried before, but um, let's see. We usually get from another, but this one was bigger container, so I uh, wanna try, I wanna try homemade kimchi, but it's so hard to find here, so I got it from the supermarket. And the third thing we got from the Asian supermarket is this paste, I think it's like a, oh, it's hot pepper paste, and last time we did this recipe, we used one uh, we got here at a Portuguese supermarket, so we wanted to try this one to see if the taste is like stronger. And apart from that, we also got some soju and ramyun and some cookies to try, but that's just for us, not for the recipe. Just wanted to show you guys. Then from the Portuguese supermarket, we got heavy cream, and this is already like carbonara flavored, so it helps, but you can use like any heavy cream. Then some mushrooms, and uh, I wanted some without all this plastic wrapped, but I couldn't find, so yeah. And last but not least, 
the bacon or a ham for the carbonara but of course you can do this vegetarian option without the meat but it's carbonara so i'm gonna be adding this and that's basically all the ingredients we'll need and of course we'll use like salt and pepper and other type of seasoning but yeah that's basically it let's start this cooking show beer to drink with the carbonara the kimchi one uh, since we are like mixing all these different kitchens like uh, Italian and Korean we decided to mix even more soju with Heineken but yeah we didn't have Korean beer so it's gonna do let's taste test this carbonara let's see how this tastes this is the first time we do it with udon noodles so they are super like chunky so good guys it's so so good it's actually spicy this time i think it's because of the <laughs> it's too spicy for you <laughs> i think it's because of the hot chili hot pepper paste that we brought this time it's like so much stronger than the ones we have here but it's like a 10 out of 10 recipe trust me do it and let me know in the comments please because it's so so good <music> So I'm ready now, as you can see by my makeup, finally done. The wind is like crazy. <laughs> and I'm here with Sophia. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> She's so cozy today. <laughs> and we are shooting, we are actually just at a like street. <laughs> <laughs> because I found yesterday a street mirror and we were looking for one for a long time to shoot and here it is we're going to try to see if it's worth it yeah, <laughs> can you yeah. see us we yeah. are so small yeah. in there <gasps> I'm not sure if this is going to work <laughs> I don't think it works <laughs> oh no <laughs> How tiny! <laughs> like an Oompa Loompa! <laughs> so that was a fail, we are going to search for a new location. I just wanted to show you. Oh, Sophia's driving. Pick her wallpaper. It's us! It's us! So cute. so cute! I love when you guys do like illustrations of us. It's like the cutest thing ever. And uh, I want to like print them all and save them in a little. Book. <laughs> it's so cute, so keep them coming. <laughs> and it's a wrap. It was a very hard rep actually. I didn't record much of our shooting day because it was a very stressful one. As you saw, I met with Sophia early in the morning. Early in the morning. <laughs> Not early in the morning. With us it's never early in the morning. But in the morning. <laughs> and then like the morning was like almost a waste because we couldn't find locations and it's cloudy so I thought it was the perfect weather to shoot. But guess what? Our new phones 
kind of act weird on cloudy days so uh, it was a bit of a struggle but in the afternoon it was uh, better and we ha we grabbed like a quick lunch so that's why I didn't record because it was a very basic lunch we got like soup and, and a, sandwich. a sandwich and now we order Starbucks to celebrate the end of a hard working day and cookies from Starbucks I hate that it's like Christmas themed let me tell you because it's not aesthetic at all but if I'm not working I kind of like it because it's comfort it's very cozy so yeah I guess I'll see you tomorrow maybe I don't know enjoy my coffee are you guys ready for an unboxing so I have some packages here that arrived yesterday because yesterday I wasn't home and I got home late at night to find these packages so I think I will open for you because today I don't really have anything interesting to do it's actually a pretty busy day but it's a stay at home day all the content I need to create today I need to create from home so and I also need to spend the day searching for Christmas gifts which is honestly a nightmare I don't know how you guys do I feel like it's not worth it to give something to someone if it's not like if you don't really mean it or if you don't really like or the person will not really appreciate just to give it to them just because you're supposed to give something so that gives me extra pressure because I feel like I need to find something special every time and sometimes that thing doesn't exist <laughs> scissors this will help Do you guys even appreciate ASMR? Because I personally hate it, but I think it's fun to make ASMR for you guys. <laughs> but if you hate it as much as I do, please let me know. I know some people love ASMR. How cute! It actually looks like a Christmas gift, although it's not. This is from House of CB. I'm gonna save this for Christmas wrapping. Oh, how fancy the corset, so cute. Has straps, so it helps. It's really cute. I think it's really pretty for holidays coming, like uh, Christmas and New Year. Cute. And by the wrapping of this, I'm guessing it's from the same brand. Yeah, it's from House of CB again, and package always cute. And then the ribbon for my Christmas present. <laughs> Oh my god, are you guys seeing this jacket? Oh my gosh, how cute is this? I'm just checking myself in the mirror right now. <laughs> so, excuse me. Oh my god, happy dance! How fluffy, how glamorous. <laughs> Not with this outfit though, but look at the movement, so cute. And then this one is huge. So, oh, it's from Black Up. So, first item from Black Up Korea is actually this uh, sweater, which is very 90s varsity style. Oh, it's so warm, it has like little fur inside. But I really love this to uh, just go and style it for streetwear, like to go on an everyday basis. But also, I love to take this for like my dance classes because they are so baggy and cute. This one, oh my gosh, you guys don't understand how obsessed with brown and green I've been lately, like my entire feed on my Instagram is brown and green Guess this item doesn't help to my addiction, but it's super pretty, so can't wait to style this one too And after green we have brown again And don't get me wrong, these were my choices, so But this is so pretty, it's like a sweet bomber jacket and uh, almost like an aviator slash bomber with fur inside, like fake fur, false fur. So yeah, super cute. And last item from Black Cup. Oh my gosh, how cute. This is like a uh, denim jeans, but also have like jersey fabric, like trainers. So they're probably very comfy, very wide, baggy. So once again, 10 out of 10, Black Cup never disappoints. So I highly recommend and we have one last package to go 
and this is from Source Unknown. And from Source Unknown, we have a turtleneck. It's kind of a basic one, honestly. And then, oh my gosh, how cute. I love this kind of mint avocado color, like milk avocado. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, but it's really pretty. It's like a crop blazer and it's still green. Do you notice? It's everything's like black, green or brown. And finally, we have this very chunky knitwear with some rips. It's not rips, like this detail, fray detail. I don't know how you say this, but very cute. So that's it for this unboxing. Need to clean up the mess now, but also I think that's it for this vlog. In general because I already vlogged three days I have a lot of footage so uh, I guess it's it for now and today I'm just going to stay here at home and create a lot of content I need to be super focused for this so I think that's it also my tongue is blue <laughs> I just realized that I have a blue tongue <laughs> because I ate candy it's disappearing it was like far worse but yeah just to let you know but before I turn this vlog off, I wanted to say a huge, huge thank you to every single one of you that stayed until the end and is supporting the new vlogs. I know it's hard to embrace change and I know a lot of you love like the, my makeup tutorials, DIYs and other type of content, but uh, I really... I'm really really thankful to the few ones that stick around and um, understand that I want to do what makes me happy and support me for that and also I want to thank you because this YouTube fam just hit a 200k which I'm super 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 glad I can't even like in my mind picture 200k people clicking the subscribe button I don't even know 200k people so it's super overwhelming and puts everything in perspective so it means a lot to me. I know like YouTube is my smaller platform from comparing to like Instagram or TikTok, but it's the one that it's like so meaningful because people really take like 10, 20 minutes per week of their time to watch me. So yeah, it's crazy, it's overwhelming and I really love you guys. So yeah, that's it. Thank you. Love you.